Number eight, write the ionic equation for dissolution and the solubility product, which is KSB, the expression, for each of the following slightly soluble ionic compounds. And then we have strontium phosphate, SR3PO4-2. Now just know that if a ionic compound is slightly soluble, that means that it's going to basically stay at equilibrium as a solid. Slightly soluble means that only a little bit of this is going to break down into its ions, but we have to show that balanced equation. And that's what dissolution means, right? Dissolution dissolving, breaking down into the two ions. So I'm going to start off by saying, okay, we have SR3, PO42, and since it's slightly soluble, this has to start as a solid, and we're going to be in equilibrium because we're dealing with the K value. And now I just need to find out what are the two ions that my compound is breaking down into. This is like going all the way back to the first couple of weeks of Gen Chem. Where is the break between the cation and the anion? Well, it's right here. It's between the strontium and the phosphate. Remember, PO4, polyatomic ion, that always stays together. So I have SR plus PO4. But now I need to find out what those charges are in the upper right-hand corner. Well, remember when we did those all the way back in the day, we took the subscripts, the three and the two, and we crisscrossed them back up, right? The three crisscrossed up telling me that the phosphate was a negative three, and phosphate is always a negative three charge. So I'm just going to put that here. And this two crisscrossed up telling me that strontium is a plus two. And strontium, uh, I believe, is in, yeah, it's in the second group. So that's always going to be a plus two. Now, since we have charges, these have to be aqueous. So I'm just going to say AQ and AQ. But almost done. We have to balance the equation. Keep in mind that you had three strontiums. So I have to say that I have three SR plus twos. And I had two phosphates. So I have to put a two up here. And now I have that balanced ionic equation. So the first part of this is done. Ionic equation for dissolution, done. Now we're going to use this to find out what the KSP expression is, the solubility product. Well, that just comes from knowing the general formula of the KSP, which is this right here. KSP is just the concentration of the products raised to the coefficients. Keep in mind that any K value, Ka, Kb, Kc, Kp, no solids are allowed. That's why your reactant is not in the Kx pre-expression. So let's do it. Ksp equals the concentration of the products. There's two of them, right? The Sr2 plus and the PO4 3 minus. So Sr plus 2 and then multiplied by PO4 3 minus. But for each one of them, you have to raise them to their coefficients. You had three SRs, so I have to raise the SR concentration by three. And there was two PO4s, so I have to raise the phosphate concentration, raise that to a two. And now I am done. That's the KSP expression. So there you go for this one, guys. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to help us out, thank you so much. Let's keep learning. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you. I think there's one more uh, letter in number eight, so hang tight. We'll do that in a little bit, but I'll, I'll talk to you then. Okay, bye-bye.